Today we are going to discuss about access specifiers in Java and at the same time we will be discussing about packages, the concept of packages in Java. First of all, see. Visibility modes, which are also termed as access specifiers. There are three types, four types, private, public, default and protected. In order to make the concept of access specifiers clear, first we will have to discuss about the concept of packages in Java. Now see. What is a package? As per definition, a package is a group of classes and interfaces. A package is a group of classes and interfaces. Now, group of classes and interfaces. Each package is given a unique name. A package has to be given a unique name. A package is a means to write different classes and interfaces with a, under a particular name. So we can have many classes and interfaces with the same name in different packages. So a package is a group of classes and interfaces. Now see, first we will discuss private. What is private access specifier? Private access specifier means all the private members of a class, they are accessible only within the body of the class. They cannot be accessed outside the class. Right? Secondly, <coughs> we will be discussing about default. Now, as far as default access specifier is concerned, default access specifier, if, if all the members which are having default access specifiers, they cannot be accessed outside the package. All the classes falling under the same package, they will be able to access the default members of a class. So again, I repeat it, default members of a class are accessible only within the or are accessible only within the same package, right? They cannot be accessed, default members, they cannot be accessed outside the package. Now we come to public. <coughs> Sorry. All the public members of a class, they are accessible outside the package also. So public is a, is, is a, is a somewhat uh, a wider term. As far as all public members are concerned, they can be accessed in other packages also. Next comes the protected. Now, protected, as the name suggests, protected is something which is used in the concept of inheritance, in the concept of derivation only. So, protected, what is what are the protected members? A protected member of a class is accessible to its subclasses which are present in other packages. Which are present in other packages. So first of all, we will see, suppose we have got a package or suppose my1. At the top of the program we are supposed to write package and name of the package. Package is a statement of Java. Now see, all the classes, suppose class ABC, class XYZ, all the members of these classes, if we have not written, specifically we have not written any access specifier, they will be considered to be default. So all the default members of the class ABC, they are accessible within the class XYZ. Why is it so? Because all these classes, namely ABC, XYZ and other classes, they are falling under the same package, my1. Right? But suppose, I have declared a member, private int x. It happens to be the private member of the class abc. Now it cannot be accessed by the class xyz even though the class xyz happens to be present in the same package because private members they are accessible only within the same class. Within the same class. See, if we don't write any access 
is specified, it is considered to be default. It is considered to be default. So next, suppose I have got another package called my2. So what will happen is, there is a class, suppose class accounts. This class accounts cannot access the default and private backups of the classes ABC and XYZ. What is the reason? The reason is now we are working in a different package. And in order to access the members of a class in some other package, those members have to be public. So suppose I am trying to use this variable x. It won't be accessible in the class accounts because class accounts happens to be present in some other package my new. Now suppose in the class xyz of the package my1, I have got a variable public float y. Now this variable y can be accessed in other packages also, in the classes of other packages also. So I would be in a position to access the member, I would be able to access the variable y in the class accounts even though the class accounts happens to be present in some other package my2. Right? So again I repeated the public members of a class are accessible to the classes belonging to other packages also. Right? And default members they are accessible to the classes belonging to the same package. As far as private is concerned, the, the concept is a strict one because in case of private members they are accessible only within the same class. Let alone the same package, it will be accessible only within the same class. Now see. <coughs> I will okay, again explain protected. Now see, protected is used in the context of inheritance. Suppose we have a, a super class in the package my1 and we have got a class, subclass in the package my2. Now I would be able to access the members of the my1 class of oh, sorry I would be able to access the members of the super class in the subclass only if the members they happen to be either public or protected but as far as public is concerned that will give access to the non subclasses belonging to the other packages also so that will go against the principle of data hiding. So what we should do is, if there is any requirement of accessing the members of a super class which happens to be in some other package, we should go for protected. So protected members of a super class, they will be accessible to the subclasses belonging to the other packages. Now, <coughs> this concept, this is the concept which uh, as far as protected members are concerned, this is the concept that is going to work. So next uh, we would be, now as far as packages are concerned, each program that belongs to a particular package starts with a package statement. It starts with a package statement. I am going to give you a very small example whereby we will be discussing how a package program is written. See, I am going to write on a very small program, suppose it is package my1 and the class I am going to take is class suppose products, right? So within the product class, INTPNO, this stands for product number, float price, this is for price per unit, then we have got INT U sold stands for units sold. Now see, <coughs> there is a constructor products, int pno, float price, int u sold. This dot pno is equal to pno, this dot price is equal to price, this dot u sold is equal to u sold. I am going to write down a method which is going to display all these values. 
system dot out dot print and then product pool plus pno price per unit plus price then unit sold plus u sold it's a very small class name of the class is products and you can clearly see the visibility modes of all these members namely member data and member methods the visibility modes of both the members that is default that is they can be accessed only within the same package now i'm going to write down the class main class mn public static void main string args no c box i am going to instantiate an object of the products class so what i will do is products pr is equal to new products and i will be passing the parameters because i am using constructor with arguments right then pr dot show that is end of the class now we have got two classes one class is products class and we have got another class that is mn class which is containing the method main now see carefully all these two classes they belong to the package my one right now the thing that i want to explain is how this program is going to be executed now see a program that belongs to a particular package program that belongs to a particular package is compiled in the same manner as we compile an ordinary java program so suppose name of this uh, program is suppose ml.java i would go to the command prompt and i would write java c ml.java as you know this is going to compile the program java c ml.java all of you know whenever a java program is compiled successfully we people end up getting as many dot class files as the number of classes in our program so in this case we are going to get products dot class as well as ml dot class as far as java c ml dot java is concerned this is something that is very familiar to you because this is how we compile a java program java application program now see i will try to execute execute this program by writing java mn it is going to pass error message java mn it is going to pass error message now what is the reason i will be explaining in detail see the first prerequisite for a package program is that your program belonging to a particular package that should be stored that should be saved in the same folder as the name of the package so as for this program the name of the package is going to be my one so that means this program mn dot java should have been stored in a folder called in a folder called my one so suppose my base directory was students within students i have i have got a sub folder called my one again i repeat it as per java rule we are supposed to save all the java programs falling under a package in the same folder as the name of the package so students happens to be my base folder within students i have got the sub folder called my one so all the java programs that will be falling under the package my one they should be saved in the folder my one so what i will have to do is see carefully i will have to set class path class path is a dos environment variable so i would be writing set class path is equal to c colon slash students this is nothing else but the base directory base folder where my package folder my one exists 
Now see, set class class is equal to C colon slash students. Afterwards, I would be writing Java my one dot MN. And this is this is going to execute your program successfully. There won't be any error. Now you might have noticed one peculiar thing that is I mentioned the main class MN which is being preceded by the name of the package. So listen carefully. As per the rule, all the programs which are falling under a package, they are to be executed this way. First we are supposed to write Java, then we are supposed to write down its, uh, its, its, its package name or in other words you can say the folder with the same name as the package name dot and that will be followed by the main class. So I would be writing java my one dot and then this is going to execute your program. That will execute your program. This method of executing a program which is falling under a package is absolutely wrong. Java and then. It should have been Java first name of the package dot and followed by the main class. Okay. So the next, the next lecture also we will be discussing about packages. Thanks.